This video is sponsored by Music Magpie. For more details, please look in the description. So tonight it's the FA Cup, a chance for City to book their place in the quarter-finals of this competition. And if they beat Wigan, who they've struggled a bit against in recent years in the FA Cup, as we know, then they will be at home to Southampton in the quarter-finals. But far from decided that just yet. We'll get the atmosphere from the City fans soon. But first I'm going to speak to a man who probably has slightly conflicting views on tonight's game, or certainly emotions, and that's Gary Cook, former CEO of City and a man who I think played a significant part in City's growth to where they are these days. But these days, he's actually a director here at Wigan Athletic. So how's he feeling ahead of this one? You know, I've spent a lot of happy times at uh, Man City, uh, but there's a new project on hand now. You know, Wigan, they've done it before. Um, you know, there's a reality check, isn't there, that you, uh, when you look at the lineup that they have, and you look at the lineup that we've got, Paul Cook's uh, assembled a pretty good team, but uh, I think Is he'll be- son? <laughs> yeah, too many cooks spoil the broth, right? Um, yeah, but we're looking forward to it. It's just great for the fans. Great to see the stadium full again, and uh, yeah, it's good. It's a good thing, isn't it? The FA Cup, so it's got it's got the magical moments to it. What are you dreaming of? Are you dreaming of a replay back at the Etihad? That would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. I got a lot of friends still there, and hopefully I'll get to see them uh, in a in a little while here. Uh, a lot of great friends uh, still at Man City, so yeah, I'd love to go back there and say hello to everybody. Mind you, I wouldn't recognise the place now, as, as you well know, and all City fans know it's, uh, it's a different place now than it was when we walked in. I think it's fair to say that you have two clubs here that you've got a strong emotional attachment to in Wigan and City, haven't you? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I, I've known the Whelan family for many, many years, back from my Nike days, and Duncan Sharp was a good friend of mine, uh, so unfortunately it was a sad loss, but, uh, but yeah, there's, they've got a lot of fans and uh, that, uh, you know, a, a, are very keen to see the good days return and uh, yeah it's uh, it's, a, it's an emotional place for me because I've known the guys for a long time uh, but I won't be torn with my uh, with my emotions I just hope it's a good game of football well I just hope that we have a good game we do ourselves proud and we've put up a good performance can you beat Manchester City I think on your day, maybe, um, but they're flying at the moment. We've got some fantastic players and I think it'll depend what team he puts out tonight. Good luck. Thank you very much, we'll need it. We owe Wigan a good spanking uh, because they've beaten us the last two times we've played them. Uh, I was here last time and, um, and obviously the final at, at Wembley and that didn't go down well with us. So we owe them a good 5 nilling tonight. My prediction. Well, they are only a League One side. They so are only a League One side. They don't want the players to, to be thinking the way you're thinking, do they? Not at all, but I don't think they will. Pep's got them all tuned in and drilled out. So uh, tonight, hopefully we'll have a good team out. Uh, we'll have Bravo in the goals, but maybe they won't get that far. I think he'll make some changes, but I don't think he'll pick a really weak team because I'm sure he wants to win this and still keep going for the quad. So you were at Rochdale yesterday. I was. You know how dangerous it can be to feel that we could team. I do, yeah. Are you worried about tonight? No. Can't do. We've already booked the train to Arsenal. So if we draw tonight, I've lost 45 quid. So you don't even want to draw tonight? <laughs> no, no, no. How are you? <laughs> I've heard this. I'm getting heckled. Well, come All on, right. tell us what you think about tonight then. It's going to be about 5 nil tonight, without a shadow of a doubt. Isn't that They're a bit going to be arrogant. Isn't no, that it's arrogant? not. It's just reality. Just reality. The best team in the world at the moment, in all the land and all the world. Anyway. I was at Rochdale. I know what big games are like. Oh, they played well, Rochdale, didn't they? Yeah. It was an so excellent game. Not a word at all. Tonight. Not worried at all, man. I think it'll be three 0 Enjoy your burger. I will do. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice as well, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think it's a strong team. It should easily. Uh, should easily beat Wigan with it. Uh, I think it's good to give De Bruyne a rest and, and players like that with the final coming up next week. We've played a lot of games recently, especially uh, with the back end of January with the with the cup sem semi-finals against uh, uh, Bristol and then against Cardiff as well. Uh, it's a strong team. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad uh, Bravo's kept his place because uh, he's been strong when he's played in the cup this season. Uh, I think he'll play both games. I think Pep said he played, uh, he'll play him against uh, Arsenal as well, won't he? I, I, I feel like he's deserved it because he's been strong since he's come in, since he's been, since he's uh, been second choice, and I feel like he's prospering it from it. Stones and Laporte. I'm interested in seeing those together because I think long term, 
that is going to be the, the central partnership at the back. So I'm quite pleased with the defence. Obviously, I mean, within the, I mean, next next Sunday I want to see Edison in goal against Arsenal. He's not going to be though. I know he's not, but <laughs> I mean, you know, thinking back to, I mean, I didn't want Willie against Liverpool, but he pulled it off. You know, relatively confident. Um, I would imagine. I know we're gonna still flying in League One, but um, we're flying in the Premier League, so can't see nothing but a City win tonight. Quite comfortable. 2013. It was years ago, wasn't it? Revenge is not about it, but it, but it, we're a different kind of animal these days, aren't we? So I won't, I won't call it revenge. Four 0 tonight, most without a shadow of a doubt. We've got to be confident. We're smashing it this year, so yeah, we'll just see. Four five nil, I think. I'm um, hoping we're going to win obviously today and a much better result than the last time we played big in, in a cup game. Are you expecting the crowd to be noisy? Is that why you've got them earmuffs on? Yes. <laughs> the famous these. <laughs> because it was on the telly at Cardiff with them. Really? And picked me out in the crowd, yeah. I think it's going to be 6 0. I think we're going to win 6 0, yeah. Are you, are you pleased with the team? Have you seen the team news? Yeah, I think, I think the team's really good. I would have wanted to see Foden starting because he's a local lad and he's playing really well when he comes on. Got that assist against Leicester for a Guerrero's wonder goal. Yeah, the team's really strong. I like the team. 5-0. Straight up 5-0, mate. Not conceding. Very strong team. Win at Wembley. Hopefully get another win tonight. What more can you want? Title's in the bag. Champions League on the way. How old are you? 17. So you've only ever seen I know, this mega the good side, the good side. But I've heard from my dad that it was decent back in the day, so it's not too bad, is it? Are you appreciating this? 100% loving it. Pep Guardiola through and through, mate. Loving it. There are reminders everywhere inside the club of that day in 2013 when Wigan Athletic won the FA Cup at the expense of City. There's one example, and there's another. We have now done with the dominating factor from the half is ascending off of Fabian Delft. I personally think it was probably quite harsh, but I think when you're out of control, when you're going over the top of the ball, I think Anthony Taylor initially got the yellow card out of his pocket. We could clearly see that, and I think his, his, his decision was influenced by the assistant that perhaps changed his mind. But overall, I think this gives Wigan Athletic a great chance in the second half now. You can do it. Yeah, I do think they can do it because I think they have caused enough problems. But in general, the way that Man City do keep the ball with David Silva, with Gundogan, with uh, Fernandinho, and of course then with the creativity of Bernardo Silva and Sani out wide, I think they've got players that can really influence this game. But overall, you have to say, with City down to 10 men, it gives Wigan a, big, a much better chance, of course, than they had in that first half. To the red card, whether it was or it wasn't, I haven't seen a replay as I say this could make all the difference in the second half. Will Kevin De Bruyne come on? We'll soon find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the final score, Wigan Athletic 1, Manchester City now! Today is going to be the day that the gun will throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realised what you got. Absolute rubbish, obviously. Um, there was just no passion at all. And Sane, he was just very, very lazy today. He just wasn't interested. Uh, obviously, very, very disappointed. Um, there's got to be a lot of question marks asked about the attitude of some of the players. Unbelievable. My own opinion, why they're playing Bravo, and while they're playing Stones when he's not fit, he's obviously not fit. He didn't have the space. Uh, that's my opinion. But this, at the end, is a disgrace. Attacking our players on the way off. That's absolutely disgraceful. I don't know whether you've seen that yet, but they were attacking um, Aguero. So that's my opinion. But we got actually out of this what we deserved. Nothing, in my opinion, and I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. It's disgusting. They're taunting us. They're throwing punches at some of our fans. They're doing all sorts. The police aren't doing nothing to help them either. Not even backing them off from where they are. It's out of order. Bang out of order. Back to the 
the old days where we can't score at all and we've shamed ourselves. But you know what? We sit it till we die. Get in there. It's easy. The problem is, there was one steward covering the whole of the city end tonight. When all those Wigan fans came on, great, they should be celebrating, absolutely. But the trouble that's been caused afterwards is a lack of shooting and lack of policing. It took the police nearly 10 minutes to form a line. That's not acceptable. There's kids and women in there and there's bottles throwing left, right and centre. It's not acceptable. So you're saying that there were only one or two stewards in... Absolutely, in the city yeah. And what have you seen in that away end then? Well, everyone's, everyone's disappointed, of course they are. But when you've got kids, Wigan fan kids, just goading you and goading you and goading you for 5, 10, 15 minutes, nobody did anything until it started kicking off and then the police decided to come in. It's unacceptable, it's dangerous. They don't, they can't, I don't know, mate, they just, they didn't perform today, did they? They just didn't perform. They, had, they got in the way of everything, didn't they? Everything they got away on. Fair to, fair to Wigan, they played the act. Defended absolutely brilliant, it's brilliant. We played all right, second half. Obviously, we're in trouble as soon as we get out to 10 men. Um, final ball, like they defended really well, to be fair. And I haven't seen the red card again, so it might be a red. My voice is going, as you can tell, because of the uh, kickoff at the end. But our steward in and policing was a disgrace, to be honest. I thought they let too many get too close to the city fans. But yeah, on the game, I think we deserve to get beat. Like, not the way we played, but. You know, we didn't put the ball in the net, we didn't, the last ball wasn't good enough. They defended really well, so took the chance. Do you know what? They were always going to do a pitch invasion, so, you know, whatever. But there were some fans and airs getting so close to our end, provoking. I'm amazed it got that far. Like, I'm amazed it got that far, but whatever. It's the way of it, innit? Oh, cheesy. We did play well. John's Jones was not very good. We attacked in the second half, but we just weren't good enough tonight. And the quadruple's gone, but we're on for the treble now. That's all I want to say. Tonight, I thought they played brilliant. Tactically, we set up okay. That sending off, absolutely appalling sending off, in my opinion. We should have put the Wigan player in the first half on the byline for a yellow card. That would have sorted it for me. We put the ball in many times across the box, tapping. Sean Golter would have had one or two of them back in the day, he would have run. Come on, City. Very proud tonight. Well, you've heard one or two of what the supporters have said after this game, and you can see the debris on the pitch after the match. There certainly seems to have been uh, a bit of bother, shall we say, but I haven't seen it, so I can't really comment on it. But you've heard what some of the fans have said. Obviously, there are fans, there are stewards, I should say, down there as well. And there's a lot of anger. I can still see it behind me from supporters with the stewards, etc. As far as the game's concerned, obviously, the Blues now are out of the FA Cup. Very disappointing not to have scored a goal here. The Fabian Delph incident, as I now talk to you. I haven't seen a replay of that, but I have seen still pictures of the challenge on Sergio Aguero, which also looked like a, a bad challenge to me. Instinctively, it did feel like Delft should have been sent off, but uh, certainly this is a defeat which has created in lots of different ways, as you've seen, anger among the City fans. Let's hope it's different at Wembley uh, on Sunday. I'll be there, of course, up and down Wembley Way looking for supporters. Come and find me if you can. And don't forget to subscribe, press the button. But uh, I'll leave you from uh, a strange atmosphere here at the DW Stadium. Uh, it should have been a, another great night in, in theory for City. But it's turned out to be something else.